Thanks for tuning in to Lead the Teams, The Front. Hello everyone, good afternoon, happy Sunday to all of you and thank you for tuning in and joining me live right now on The Front. I'm here on episode number 85 and it's a little bit different format today. What I'm going to be talking about is some things that are, well, what The Front is about. I'm going to recap that a little back bit because it's been several episodes since I've done that. I'm going to share some things that are coming up. I would hope that please... You know, if you're watching this, please like the episode and share it on your personal personal social media page. That would be great. I would sure appreciate it. So uh, also, I will be happy to stop a few times and I'll address comments in the sidebar and answer questions. So it's kind of an ask me anything if, if there are questions that come in out there. And I'm going to try and keep this episode to about five or ten minutes. So first off, like I said, this happens to be the 85th episode of the front and I started this just about a year ago. I did do a previous podcast. I did one titled Reignition and it was all about getting pumped up and motivated and fired up and and uh, doing that in sales. So over time, that's kind of evolved and this set of the podcast is titled The Front. Some of my plans are once I get to episode 100, my hope is to maybe start doing a few more of these live shows and inviting on guests and and having more of a two-way conversation but for now I had set it up so it was I'm I'm archiving and doing some hopefully higher quality videos and with some pro- production value to those so that's that's how it all evolved and started so one of the things that I want to share with everybody is what is the front about the front is about one being out front and constantly working on growth constantly working on improvement you i've heard it said uh, the the japanese term for this is kaizen right constant and never ending improvement pushing yourself to consistently evolve and when you do that it helps you to stay out front it's also talking about leading from the front and leading from the front is something that takes action you have to actually get up and go you cannot just sit back and uh, like the the instructor of an orchestra, you can't just sit back and say, "Oh, well, my people need to to do this." That's not how leadership works. You sometimes you have to get in the thick of it, and then also the front is about being on the cutting edge in the front of management and leadership and sales training and consistently motivating yourself and sharing that with others. So one of the tough parts is when we do something like this for the front. You never know how the online interactions are going to go. You know, from from a producer standpoint, I go, oh, man, I want to go and and light the world on fire and get everybody excited and and talk about the the passion and training and fire and all those things. And just everybody's going to be motivated to watch and excited. And it you know, it doesn't always work that way. Over time, my mentality has evolved to say, well, look, if it touches and reaches one person today and it makes that right impact, then that's what the calling was for. You know, that was what that episode was for. So that's one of the things that that you kind of look at. As far as the specific subject matter, I have three subjects that I focus on for the front. And that's one is sales training. I I love sales training. I love getting uh, engaged with sales training and, and people to help pull them along and improve them. I've got 15 years in automotive management and leadership and a little more than 25, probably 28 years altogether now in management from being a business owner and and uh, just being involved in business. And so some of some of my experience has come through, you know, application because there are I've been deliberate and going to seminars and, and those kind of things. And some of it has just come because it's infected me over time. So sales training, is something that I'm big on motivational content. You know, sometimes I'll do an episode and it's just all fired up and pumped up because I want people to be fired up and pumped up. And motivation at its core is either want or need. I think really it's more need than want. But motivational content, you got to understand it doesn't last. You have to pair something with it and you have to do something. You have to take action. You cannot depend on anybody else to continue to motivate you. It may be a kickstart, but that's all it is, is a start. And then the third subject is obviously leadership. Leadership is one of those things that, as I said, most of my life I've been involved in. And I really started to study leadership and the psychology of it 
and how it functions. And what I've found over time, leadership is not a title. Leadership is, it's an action. And it is how you influence other people. That's what people start to associate and connect with with you when you are in a leadership role. But it's not something, you you can't give yourself the title. You can't say, hey, I'm a leader. It, it doesn't work that way. So a few things, few notes. Here's what I would ask because I'm doing uh, new episodes of The Front. I'm going live on these. I am also re-uploading to my Front podcast page. I'm re-uploading all the previous episodes. So it's 80 episodes that were produced that I'm re resending to the page. So if you have an opportunity, I would encourage you, please go back and watch those. I hope you would get something out of it. Also, if you are watching and liking and sharing the episodes of The Front, do me a favor, and here's my, my Jimmy Fallon hashtag, right? Please make sure and hashtag The Front when you share it. That way I'm able to see who's sharing it and participate in the conversation with you. Also, for the people that are in leadership or management or you want to be in leadership and management, then also add another hashtag. There's two hashtags I'm going to ask you for this afternoon. First one is hashtag the front. Next one is hashtag the pride. And the pride, what that refers to is a pride, a group of lions, a group of people that are powerful, strong leaders that are traveling together in that group that are masters of their domain. And so I thought you, you, there are a lot of people that have some influence on me and often they will in their their episodes and their videos and their podcasts, they say, okay, well, make sure and hashtag it this or share a, a smiley face emoji or, or do whatever it is so that that person knows that you're a part of their group, part of their tribe, right? They say your tribe or your vibe attracts your tribe. I think that's how it goes. So my tribe, I want to be the pride, right? So hashtag the pride. If you're one of those people that we can search and see you're part of our lion's pride then, or, or, or the lion's pride that I'm establishing, I want to be able to connect with you. And those are people that we want to be able to have conversations with. When you have a question on training and leadership that you should be able to ask without feeling fearful or the, the apprehension to ask because of the possibility of ridicule. So I do see some some comments and stuff going on. Jonathan, thank you so much for, for taking the time to join me. I know we have a few people coming in and out. I really appreciate it. And uh, Jonathan says, if you think you're a leader and you look back and nobody's following, you're just out for a long walk. I love it. John uh, John Maxwell, he says uh, that it's one of those that, it, that I, I posted a similar quote of his. I'm a huge fan of John Maxwell, posted a similar quote a few days ago. So uh, one last thing. This is the last thing that I'm going to share for this episode of The Front. Uh, tomorrow morning, and this is kind of a separate um, program on its own. And I started 30 days ago, well, a little over 30 days ago now. I started doing my 30 days of Bible verses. I am going to continue that starting tomorrow morning. I've got a logo now. I'm going to call it Morning Verses with Mike. I'd ask that you get up with me 6.15 a.m., and join me. I'm picking literally one or maybe two verses out of the Bible and then sharing how they're impacting me that day or how they are ha have affected my life at the moment. Because there are different things that speak to us differently at different times in our lives. That's a lot of words, the different in there. Um, but it, anyway, so I'm going to be doing that 6.15 a.m. Mountain Time in the mornings. I'm going to do it live on my personal page because that's a separate uh, deal. But just to have a conversation and share with you what's going on with me, I would love if you would you would take the time to connect with me and join me for that. So kind of a quick recap. Again, if you would, please tune into more episodes of The Front. I've got 85 of them. You could go back and look at my other podcast. It's titled Reignition. There's still 35 of those that were the best ones that I kept online. And so I've been podcasting for about eight years now. So there's all kinds of content and uh, some of it has evolved over time. So it may speak to you differently at a different place. So please listen to the episodes, hashtag the front, hashtag the pride for those people that want to be leaders, that are leaders, that are in management and you want some of that personal development and growth. I'm going to work on connecting some of those people. 
And then uh, you can go back on this page, the front page here, and watch previous episodes of The Front, the produced ones, and starting about 100. Here's one other quick thing. If you want to be a guest on an up upcoming episode, if we want to have a discussion on leadership and motivation and sales training, again, there's a few episodes out. Uh, probably I'm going to start about episode 100. So another 14, 15 episodes, something like that, before I start doing the, the live interaction. But if that's something you want to do, please shoot me a DM. Let's have a discussion about it. Talk about a plan and, and let's do something together. That'd be awesome. And then last thing, please tune in starting tomorrow morning at 6.15 a.m. Mountain. And uh, I think that's everything today. So it's just kind of the catch up. I didn't have a specific theme I needed to stay on. It was just one of those I wanted to to get the word out and some information. So for everybody, if you're watching this live, thank you so much. I appreciate the people that have been participants over there. If you're watching it after the fact, also thank you. I really appreciate it. Or if you're listening to it on the podcast, that's great. You can subscribe to the podcast on Google Play and iHeartRadio and iTunes and just about everywhere there's uh, ability to listen to a podcast. It, it My podcast is, gets distri distributed there. So thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Until we speak next, I hope you have, you right there, have an absolutely fantastic Sunday. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we will talk to you soon.